Okay, now that I have walked you through setting up your pixel, we have gotten through the first step. So awesome job guys. Now we're ready to learn about how to set up your Facebook ads. And the first thing that I wanna discuss and show you is audiences. Audiences are who your ads are shown to. And this is probably the most important part of setting up your ad campaign. Um, because if you're showing your ads to people that are not interested in your products, they're not gonna buy them. So you're gonna be wasting money, you're gonna be wasting your time, and it's just no good. So we wanna make sure that you have your audiences set up properly and that your ads are going to be shown to people who will be interested in purchasing your products. So I'm going to hop on my screen and show you and give you a lesson about audiences, how to target specific groups of people, and just give you a basic overview of um, how to set up a custom audience. So let's hop on and do that now. All right, guys. So what I need you to do for us to go start creating an audience is go to facebook.com and then slash ads manager. So you get to this screen here. Once you get into your ads manager, I want you to go ahead and click on the menu on the side and find audiences. If it's not here in the shortcuts, you can go ahead and scroll down and you will see under the advertise section audiences here as well. So you can click on it either place. Um, it takes you exactly to the same next screen. And there is a ton of information regarding audiences and we could do tons and tons and tons of tutorials on this but for today's sake i want to show you how to create a saved audience that is um, based on your customer profile their interests so this is going to be where you really need to think about who you are trying to sell to. What, um, what other pages might they follow? What other stores do they shop at? What, what's your um, target age range? What is it, do you sell to both male and female equally? Do you sell to one more than the other? Um, what other interests um, do they like to do things outdoors? Do they like to go to concerts? You know any type of thing that you can think of that will profile your most um, engaged audience, the people you feel are most likely to purchase your product. That is who we want to create this audience for. So what you're going to do is click this create audience button and then go here to saved audience. And you can name this anything you'd like. Um, I'm just going to type test Lindsay. Um, if you want to type something so that you can remember that this was what you did going through our tutorial, um, you know, by all means, type that in. And what we're going to do first is go down here to the location targeting. So I am located in the United States for my business and um, I mostly sell to the United States. So I am going to want to keep my targeting here. If you are in another country, um, you would want to go ahead and search your location. Um, I'll type, start typing Australia just for demonstrating. And it's going to bring up um, all kinds of areas in Australia. So um, if you only sell regionally to a small area, you're able to um, indicate that here. You can set up a certain mile radius. If you want it to be for the entire country, you can select that as well. Um, but this is where you would search for additional areas. And I'm also going to select here um, notice it says people living in or recently in this location. Um, so this means if somebody was maybe here on vacation and they tagged themselves somewhere, um, they would be in this group. I want people living in this location. So I only want the people that are living here in the United States. That way, if they buy, buy one of my products, I know I'm going to be shipping it to them here in the US. Um, you can go ahead and then scroll down. And this is where you will select your age range. So as you can see, you just scroll up and down and you can select your ages. Um, for the sake of my demonstration, I am going to put 24 to 45. 
Um, I have an e-commerce store where I sell baby clothes. So typically my target customer is parents. And this is a good age range for those. And then for myself, I am going to select women because most of the people who shop in my store are women. They're buying for their babies. They buy for baby showers, um, you know, whatever it might be. I find that women is my target demographic. Um, here is where you would select the languages. I am going to type English, U.S., and again, this is going to be based on whatever country you're located. Um, but for demonstrating this tutorial, I am just using everything that would be relative to my business. And I want you to use what would be relevant to your business. Okay. And here is where we get into the nitty gritty, good, super awesome, fun stuff. And that's here in the detailed targeting. Um, what I want you guys to do, um, I'm going to go over this briefly. There is so much here to delve into. Um, so I'm just going to kind of give you a really quick overview. Um, but definitely go back after this tutorial and play around and see what additional things you can find. Um, go ahead and click browse. Here you'll see three topics. You have demographics, interests, behaviors. Go ahead and click on the little arrow to open the demographics menu. I guess you could call it a drop down menu. Um, sorry guys, let me go back to that. Just had to scroll my window down a little bit. So we're going to go to the demographics and you can see here there are several things listed. You have education, financial, life events, um, parents, relationships. So I'm going to go ahead and just open this one here, life events. If you click on the arrow, it brings up a lot more options. So this is going to um, bring up anyone that is coming up that has an anniversary, people who are away from family, people who are away from their hometown, people who have birthdays coming up. Um, you can even click on this and show, is it their birthday month? Is it their upcoming birthday? Maybe you have a product that's birthday related. This would be a great thing to target. Um, friends of. This would be great if you have an item that makes a great gift item. And let's say it's for men. If you're looking and you say friends of men with a birthday in zero to seven days, you could create an ad that's a call to action. Hey, um, you know, do you need a gift last minute for that buddy of yours? Something like that. Um, this would be a great selection for an audience of that nature. Um, people who have recently moved and, you know, all kinds of things. Like I said, I want you guys to go in here and play with it um, and really look and find what's going to work for your business. Um, I'm going to show you what I would do for mine. So if you happen to have um, an item that is geared toward parents, something that's for children, like my baby clothing, I would click on parents. And then again, you can click on the arrow and it brings up a lot more options. So instead of just collecting just selecting all parents. I want to get really specific because the more specific I get, that means that my ads are going to be more targeted to my the people that I believe are going to purchase. If I just send something to all parents, but I only sell baby clothes that go up to 24 months, I might be targeting these people with children that are 18 to 26 years old or six to eight. That is going to be a waste of money for me and time for my ads because those people are not going to want to buy my product for their children because their children are way too big for my baby onesies. So I'm going to look specifically here at new parents of zero to 12 months. So this is telling Facebook that I want my ads to show to people who have, who are new parents of zero to 12 month old babies. And I'm honestly going to leave it just at that, um, for that section. And Sorry, I'm going to click back here on browse. Um, we can go ahead and delve into uh, this section here, the interest. You can go business and industry, people that are interested in all different kinds of, ad, you know, advertising, agriculture, anything you can think of. Um, if you're selling, well, if you're here, you're selling a product, so this wouldn't relate to courses. But um, if you have people... You know, you might be selling healthcare products, you might be selling real estate, you might be who knows what, but 
I'm pretty sure you can find something in here that's going to help you create targeted ads. If you're in the fitness and wellness industry and you might sell um, clothing that is in relation to um, working out, you know, you could look at people who have shown an interest in running or physical fitness, weight training, yoga, if you sell yoga clothing. Um, all right. So another thing that I want to show you a little trick um, to really get your audience narrowed down, which conveniently Facebook calls it narrow audience. So I already know that I want to show my ad to all of the other options we selected up here, the living in the United States, this age range, um, the women that speak English and that are new parents zero to 12 months. But I also want to narrow that audience down to, I'm going to show you guys right here, um, a little trick under behaviors. So a lot of people are shown ads. I'm sure if you're on Facebook, you see ads all day long. You might click on some that interest you. Um, you may have even purchased. We want the people that have been engaged with ads and engaged buyers. So we're going to go ahead and go down here to purchase behavior and put engaged shoppers. So this is telling Facebook that I want them to show my ads to people who have shown a pattern or a past of um, being engaged shoppers from ads. Um, this is going to be more likely to uh, assist in conversions once your ads are running versus just getting those people that click, click, click and never buy. Um, so this is just a very, very top overview of the audiences, you guys. Um, like I said, go in, play with it, really delve in to who your target customer is and, um, you know, select all of the interests here. Another really quick tip is you could get, um, you know, really crazy and add all kinds of things. Keep your audiences simple. You can set up a ton of these audiences and, you know, say, uh, test them with your Facebook ads to see which get better responses. So I like to keep them very targeted. So if I was, like I said, this one, I'm doing new parents, zero to 12 months who are engaged shoppers. Um, I might do another one that is, um, parents who like the gap clothing since that's a similar type of clothing like preppy wear to what I sell. So I'll, you know, narrow it to gap and then I would narrow that audience down based on the ages of the children I'm trying to target. So I get it really targeted. I'm not going to add, um, you know, people that like Gap, Walmart, Carter's, all of these stores, because you're going to have this massive audience and you're not going to see conversion results and you're going to end up spending a ton of money on ads and then you're going to get frustrated and you're going to never want to do a Facebook ad again. So if I have one tip, you guys keep it simple. Um, okay. So once you're all done going through and you found all of uh, your detailed targeting and you've entered your demographics, you can just click create saved audience. And what that's going to do, it's going to save it here. So when we go to actually create our ad, we will be able to pull this in to um, our ad as our targeted audience. All right, guys, can't wait to show you uh, how to start setting up your campaigns in our next video.